Hello guys, welcome to another Some Guys Productions, and we're actually going to look at uh, screen. Uh, we're looking, sorry, at Crossover Pro Eight. All right, I'm going to go straight into it. All right, here we go. This is Crossover Pro for the Mac. Uh, so Crossover Pro, this is version eight because we're eight. 0.0.1 because we're running off Snow Leopard. As you can see, 10.6.1. Okay, so what I want to show you on Crossover on what support you can expect from Crossover 8. Uh, first up, IE7. We'll go straight into IE7. Here it is, right here. This is pretty much Internet Explorer 7 completely running on Mac OS. Crossover. <coughs> so, yeah, you just go straight in, you can tab, you can do whatever you would do on Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft. Com. Go straight into the Microsoft site. No issues. You got pretty much everything you want on Intex. On IE7. So there we go. That's one application. You can run pretty much any application you want on uh, Crossover 8. So if we go into... What's another one that we can go into? You can also access all your... Uh, Applications directly from Crossover's program menu. So we'll go into Microsoft Office Visio 2007. Bring that up. There you go. It just runs up uh, beautifully as usual. So you can pretty much do everything you want to do. You can save it directly to uh, a location. You can open up pretty much your uh, desktop. It pretty much views everything you can see. You go straight into the Mac desktop. As you can see, so yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of crossover. This is crossover Mac Pro 8. So this is actually quite good. Now the other thing I want to sh show through briefly is. Uh, Crossover Games 8.0 as well. There's a few other bits of support you can have there, so let's go into that now. Uh, Alright, go on Steam first. I could be friends with 
Alright guys, um, I thought I'd do a quick tour, because I have had a lot of questions um, about this, on how, on what is crossover and how to set up stuff on crossover. Um, you've seen pretty much already about uh, introduction to the new, the new parts of crossover Mac Pro 8 and also crossover games, so I'm just going to dive straight into it. I'm in crossover games uh, version 8. And see here, Crossover Games version 8. This is what you need to have if you want to run it on Snow Leopard. So, uh, pretty much in order for you to install games like Steam, Guild Wars, or whatever, any type of Windows game, uh, you pretty much either want to start off in this section here. This is the easiest way that you can do this straight up. There are other ways of doing it, but in Crossover, this will be the easiest way to do it in Crossover. You go in Crossover Games Installer. Right. As you can see, there are pre-existing ones. You can actually just click on either Steam by Download. <coughs> and just click on one and go Continue. It will ask you what to do with it. Uh, create a new bottle. Um, you need to, importantly, create a bottle for this, so <coughs> you can have a Windows XP one, Windows Vista one, whatever. Um, so, I'm not going to go through it because I've already got um, Steam installed. <coughs> but you can also go install unsupported software. This allows you to have software <coughs> installed that's not in that list, basically. And this allows you to do the same thing, and you can also do that as well. You can add as many as you like to whatever bottles you like, or have as many bottles as you like. Um, it's all—it's really good to have it on the one bottle sometimes, because then it's actually faster and everything like that. You don't have to load so many bottles. <coughs> so as you can see from this, uh, that's the quickest and simplest way of being able to use Crossover. And that then allows you to manage bottles from here. You can go to your applications. You can uninstall or repair applications. Um, you can delete a bottle, which will pretty much essentially get rid of all applications relating to that. Uh, advanced allows you to config bottles. You can even open the C drive of a bottle. So uh, it'll allow you to go straight in program files. You can do your modifications if you need to. So if you go to Guild Wars, um, it's just like a pretty much same directory as you would have um, on pretty much Windows uh, except it's natively running off uh, Mac OS um, so yeah you got your Mac apps you can just copy them straight over and just move on straight into Steam um, so yeah uh, that's pretty much how you do it it's a very quick guide but you guys can just ask me questions and if you need me to do a more in-depth explanation leave a comment in on this video and I'll definitely do an in-depth instructional on how to use crossover games and crossover as is. You don't even, you can actually just have shortcuts of your um, crossover game so you don't have to go into crossover um, first and then select from the uh, programs menu. You can just actually you can actually just say um, I'm going to close off crossover games because of me we go into uh, Internet Explorer, for example. That's in Crossover uh, for Mac uh, Pro 8. <coughs> if I click on that, it's going to open up, yeah, Crossover, and then it's going to automatically open up uh, IE. There you go. There's IE7 open. So, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it, guys.